Hello, thank you for joining me. This is the signal box at Pulborough Railway Station. And there's a view looking down south. This is a very attractive railway station. I've come here today on the train from London, from that direction, to do another episode of Miniature Railway Britain. In this village, Pulborough, in Sussex, is the South Downs Light Railway. So we're going to go there today, but first I thought we'll have a little look through the station and a look at the village, because it looks to be a very pleasant place. I've just seen South Downs in distance over there. So this station, it opened on the 10th of October, 1859. The line coming down from London, down, not where it goes now, but to Midhurst. The line that is currently there, which would take you down to Little Hampton, was added four years later. So it was effectively a junction station. So you can see the out of use platform just there. The line to Midhurst closed in the 50s. And now, you know, you don't tend to think of that as the, as being there first but that was actually there first and it's the line that's came later that is what survives today so there's just been a train in both directions the trains are only going to Arundel today because of engineering works so I got off a train that way the trains just come through this way now the station's fairly quiet you can see the old goods shed there and I quite like the goods shed because it's actually attached to the station building which is quite unusual so it would have been a siding well as the usual thing where the car park is that would have been the goods yard that would have been a siding in but usually good sheds you can go in and out or the track would come in and out at least but that's not the case here we have a look here talking of siding so we look across the station building as i said this would have been a bay platform at some point there's a buffer stop there have a little look old trolley up there as well there's probably some sort of goods loading dock there so the junction with the original line to midhurst would have probably been about half a mile a mile further south have yeah, a look at that that was obviously a later siding and um, they took the track up, but for some reason they decided to keep the buffer stop. So we're going to go out the other side. Uh, this station currently isn't um, set free, so I have to go through down the steps and out the other side. And I'll explain the route I'm going to take to get to the South Downs Light Railway. The logical way would be to go along the main road, but from having a look on Street View, there doesn't appear to be a pavement. So I've worked out another route I can take, which is taking on a bit of a scenic walk, so it'd be quite fun. There are buses that go along there. Whether there'll be a bus today on a Sunday, I don't know, so I might come back on one. So probably if you are coming to this railway, you might be better off driving. But I'll show some of the route that I'm gonna walk. So, um, you know, if you're feeling energetic like I am, could go for a walk. So looking back that way to where we've come from, and as I said, there'd have been a junction down there. Now let's go out through the ticket office bookshop like some southern stations do. It's an old, uh, some little quick look, waiting room here. So we'll continue on out the station. We'll have a little look in the village first. There's a nice map here. So we're here. We need to get to there. I'm going to go kind of this way around. We'll go down and have a look at the River Arran first because this is, um, this railway is known as the Arran Valley Line. It's quite a scenic railway to travel on. It has the South Downs dominating the skyline over there. And from here we get quite a nice view. That good shed, you can see the doors. So those doors there where lorries would have, you know, um, loaded their stuff into the good shed and then they'd have been loaded onto wagons to be taken away by train. So we're gonna have a quick look at the vision and let's go to the South Downs Light Railway. So here we are down by the River Arran. That's the railway line just over there so that's looking south and we can still see the south downs in the distance now this is the newer road bridge on the road which goes down to the south coast if we cross the road we'll be able to show you the old bridge known as the swan bridge so there it is really nice old bridge you can see it's had um it's like this arch is being strengthened here yeah, have a look at that you can also see that the river level has been quite high recently because there's twigs and everything up there so let's just have a look We'll go over the bridge in as we're here. That's a nice village sign there, Pulborough, with the church, the bridge, and uh, what's supposed to be the high street. So let's um, go around here and cross the old bridge. So you can imagine this would have been the original road before they built today's bridge, which we were standing on a moment ago. There it is. I do really like the curve of these old bridges. And then, as I said, I'm going to find my way up through the village over the hill to the South Downs Railway. I've just come up the hill from the village centre 
got to this road here, Church Place. Now, it's up here, which I'm going to turn. It will take me back over the railway line towards where we're going to. But let's just have a quick look at the parish church. It's very nice here with all these daffodils. So um, that's pretty cool. I like that porch for that bishop's coffee by the war memorial and everything. Look at this, this uh, corridor of daffodils. So this is Fulborough Village Church. So I've now come down Church Place a bit further and I think I'm just coming up to the railway line. Just here, this looks like a railway bridge. I will just point out there is also a shortcut from the railway station. I might end up going back that way if I don't find a bus. That way is the station. That's the shortcut to the railway station. If we look here, we can just see the single box down there where we started. And then looking that way, fairly straight track towards London. But now from full size railway, I'm not going to stand away for a train. Let's go and find some miniature trains. So as I continue my walk, it's starting to get a bit windy. You can just see the church over there where we were a moment ago. Railway station's there, the railway runs along there. I keep hearing whistles from the little train, so I know we're not too far away now. Going up this hill. Well, firstly, we have a gun, World War II gun emplacement pillbox. Um, if we go inside, I don't know, but let's have a look. There was also a castle up here, much older castle, just like we can get inside. Look at that. I'm going to go around the back and go in because I think that looks exciting. And then uh, there's like a, a driveway down there. Um, so, go around here. Cool, yeah, here we go. And um, see the view out over the South Downs. Right, we'll um, come out of here and I'm going to continue to follow this path and we will eventually go down to the railway line and find these trains. Not far to go now, just walk past the Castle Hill which I mentioned. Get a really nice view here. It's a bit windy, but two things to point out. The main line over there running south, then behind the next field is the road, which um, I could have walked along, but like I said, there's no pavement. And down there's a garden centre, and I did just see Buffer Steam, so we're very close. So I'm really quite excited now. And there's a, there's a course which is about to um, block our view of what we've seen ahead. So we've just got to get down the hill. There we are. You might just be able to see some steam going along over there, but if you can't, don't worry, because we will soon be at the railway. So the footpath brought me down and I'm now into the car park of the garden centre. Here we are at Pulborough Garden Centre and the miniature railway is situated here. So we've been to quite a few garden centres in the past which have miniature railways. They're always a good place to have a miniature railway so I'm really looking forward to this. Now the main road I said about which didn't have a pavement runs just along over there. And I do remember quite a few years ago when I was a child on a family holiday we drove past here, I think we'd been to Petworth House, the National Trust place, and we were staying at Shoreham by Sea. We came past here and I remember saying, there's a miniature railway, and my mother said, no, I don't think it is. And I said, well, the sign says South Downside Railway. Um, she was like, yeah, but it's closed. And to be fair, it was, it was probably about six o'clock. But here we are, I'm here. So I'm come, I've come into the garden centre. Oh, I can see some steam. So I think we're very close now to the railway. I've been hearing the whistles as I've come down the hill all the way down the hill. I keep hearing the whistles of the steam engines. I can hear them climbing some what sound like quite steep gradients. There's an old um, track there, but you're pretty much interested in the train. There's a double header there. I wonder if we can get on that double header, like a Bagnall and an Exmoor. Is there Exmoor Gala today? And various other locals running. So let's try and get on that train over there.
I just had a great ride, really enjoyed that. So this station is called Stopham Road. I didn't really have a chance to show you the station because I wanted to get on that train when I saw the double header. It's now waiting to go off on its next trip. So there's the ticket office there. I've purchased a four ride ticket because there's, as it being a gala, there's various trains out. So it sounds like another train is off. So I'm just gonna now do a bit of line siding and enjoy the gala. I've had a great time here at the South Downs Light Railway. All the engines have gone on to the shed and been put away because they're finished for the day's running. The visiting diesel is over there on um, a truck waiting to be transported back to her home railway, which I understand to be the Ropley Miniature Railway, one we'll have to do in the future. I'll just tell you a couple more things though about the railway itself. So this garden centre, there's been a railway here since 19... 86 I believe but that was a seven and a quarter inch it was in 1999 2000 the railway this society moved in and built the ten and a quarter inch gauge railway we have today but the interesting thing was it wasn't quite what we see today if you have a look here this area that's currently undergoing some development you can see there's a junction there so the original railway would have come round here and then about 10 years ago, they added the extension, which takes you up that really steep gradient, which I really enjoyed the trip up there. It's like the shap of miniature railways. So that's a bit of recent history on the site. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, continue. Well, when I was at the station, I found this walk. So I'm going to continue on a different route back along the Arran Valley. And here we are down by the River Arran again. I went back up that footpath, continued along until I came back down to the road. That's the road which um, I said would take you straight back to the station, but there's no pavement, so I'm following this walk. Now, there was one interesting thing. I thought, I can't finish the video without showing you. When we were back in Pulborough Village, we had a look at the old Swan Bridge, which um, is no longer part of the main road because they've built a new bridge. Well, as I just said, this is the new concrete bridge. But look at that over there. There we have another historic medieval bridge.
which I thought would be a real shame not to go and walk over just for fun. So, oh, and by the way, there's a pub here as well. So I'm probably going to have a pint in there before my walk back to the railway station. So let's just walk over this bridge, this lovely medieval bridge. It's um, pretty just as well though. It's not the road anymore because there's a tent in the middle of the road. Um, but I don't mind that because I'm probably going to sit in there and have a pint quite soon. So here we have the road, the old road bridge. And of course, it's modern counterpart beside. So it looks like a really nice pub by the river, Aaron. Um, so yeah, you can sit out there, which I'll be doing quite soon when I finish this video. I really like these old bridges. I, I more tend to associate them with down in Devon and Cornwall where they have, you know, these little areas which you can stand in and sort of look out over the river. It's so, um, this bridge, every arch is different. It's just typically historic and non-uniform. There appears to be like a manor house over there or like a stately home. I don't know anything about that, admittedly, but still, it's all very nice. So, and then look at this really nice curve at the end of this bridge. And then as you look back, we have a very nice uninterrupted view over the bridge to um, the historic pub. So, from this part of Sussex, Pulborough, and um, the South Downs Light Railway, I had a great time there, I really enjoyed it, I really do recommend you go and visit them, and I've had a really nice walk, I've got a nice walk ahead of me, back to the railway station. So from the River Aaron, thank you very much for watching, please do feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm off to have a pint now, goodbye.